My dear DOE family, I've said many times that I have the coolest job in the world, and a big reason for that has been you, the men and women who serve alongside me. At one of the most innovative places on earth, the Department of Energy. <laughs> you know, from my first day on the job in March of 2017, you welcomed me with open arms. Even though you probably didn't know what to expect from this born and bred Texan who had just arrived in Washington, D.C. But since that time, you and I have worked diligently to advance our DOE mission. And the great thing is, we succeeded. And we continue to push the boundaries of what is possible each and every day. You know, some people wake up every day and they wonder if they're making a difference. The men and women who work at this department do not have to worry about that. You are literally changing the world. So it's with profound emotion and gratitude that I'm announcing my resignation, effective later this year as your Energy Secretary. There's much work to be done in these upcoming weeks, and I remain fully committed to accomplishing the goals that I set out to accomplish at the beginning of my tenure. And then I'll return to my favorite place in the world, Texas. But I'll treasure the memories of what we've accomplished together. During my time here at DOE, we pursued a truly all of the above strategy. We deployed all of our fuels from renewables to fossil fuels to nuclear energy. We led the world in producing oil and gas and in reducing energy-related carbon emissions at the same time. We achieved the magnificent goal of energy independence. We became a net exporter of natural gas for the first time in more than 60 years, offering freedom to our friends and allies from energy coercion by some powerful adversaries out there. And we're ready to export our energy technology to deliver electricity to more than one billion human beings mired in energy poverty. We strengthened our national security by bolstering our nuclear security. We cleaned up numerous sites as we tackled America's post-Cold War environmental legacy. We stood up our Caesar office to deal with threats to the reliable delivery of electricity. We created an office of artificial intelligence to coordinate the amazing work that we're doing in this game-changing arena. <laughs> I've been blown away by the amazing work done at what I call the nation's crown jewels, our 17 national labs. I've had the opportunity to visit all of them. In my travels abroad, people everywhere wanted to know about this department because our footprint and impact is global. And that is a testament to each and every one of you today. I thank President Trump for giving me the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm so glad that I said yes. And I thank all of you, my colleagues, my friends, my family, for making that opportunity a grand success. May God bless you as you continue to pursue DOE's great calling and mission, and may God continue to bless this great country of America.